But all right, Let's see what Beast is up to now. I uh, got the. the the, he, he's got cannons of his own at the front just in case Wookiee uh, tries to do some Dark Templar harassment like this. And now Bisu is moving up to the 10 o'clock position. I think he's going to try to force... Yeah, he's going to try to force a Dark Templar through the map artifact, through the temple. Um, pretty difficult to do. Yeah, you got to get the probe in there, mine just the right position. He does get the Dark Templar in. So the Dark Templar moving its way to the main where there's absolutely no detection. No detection at all. The robotics facility just came up. But oh man, perfect positioning from Wookiee. Oh, look at that positioning of that gateway. That's going to save him right here. Bisu can't get around that gateway, so he's trying to take it down. And by the time he takes it down, Wookiee should have something prepared in the means of detection. He knows what's going on here. Oh, a high, t a high Templar coming out for Wookiee. So Wookiee, I think, is planning some future uh, drops, storm drops. But that positioning of the gateway was perfect because it's going to keep Bisu out just long enough to get another cannon at the top of that base. Cannon just coming up right now, fending off that Dark Templar that was perfectly executed. Uh, by Wookiee, although he will lose some important tech back here if, yeah, if he doesn't get his uh, observatory up soon. I'm sure he's been working towards it. He already had his robotics facility up, uh, putting down a lot of additional gateways, I see. There comes the observatory. Observers will be out soon, but probably not before he loses some critical tech. Uh, yeah, he's building another Citadel of Adun because he's just trying to get that Zealot leg upgrade. And he was probably researching it uh, from the other dying Citadel of Adun that just exploded right there. <laughs> He's going to try to get the Zealot leg for the big ground engagements. And it, it'd also be very good to save that forge if he wants to get any um, ground upgrades going. Bisu, I saw that his forge was spinning, so he is getting his ground upgrades right now. Here comes Bisu. He's coming in with the shuttle. Coming in with the shuttle. Gonna try to do some harassment, I think, with Dark Templar or High Templar. Yes, High Templar storming over the probes. He gets about three or four probes, I think. Oh, gets a lot of additional probes that uh, kind of clumped up next to that assimilator. So, uh, very good uh, harassment. Oh, I think, I think there was a harassment from Wookiee as well. Yeah, Wookiee uh, just stormed inside of Bisu's main, so they both went for storm harassment at the same time. That's interesting. But the Dark Templar still hanging in for Bisu. Going to be chased off now. It really has nowhere to run because the temple right up there. But it can distract these troops a little bit longer, I guess. Dark Templar going to go down right there. Okay, Wookiee uh, keeping away additional Dark Templar harassment. A lot of gateways going for both now, I think. They're both on two bases. I uh, haven't seen the third starting for uh, either of them. I'm going to have to check out those ground upgrades soon, because Bisu, uh, if he doesn't have plus one um, attack on his ground troops yet, he's going to have it very, very soon, because I saw that fort spinning earlier. But okay, here comes the Observer for Bisu. He's going to try to check out what's happening inside the base. Look at this crowd. Excellent crowd. Love the crowd shots at big events like this. And here comes Bisu. He's moving out with his shuttle, probably with some more High Templar. And there's Wookiee killing another map artifact next to his base just to give himself a little bit more maneuverability. Make it easier to get behind his base, protect himself. And I think he's setting up for another base. He's moving down with this probe. Possibly to scouts, but possibly to throw down a third base somewhere near the 6 o'clock. Okay, Wookiee's moving out. Both players moving out into the middle of the map. Tons of Dragoons. And here comes Bisu. Bisu going to commit to a drop. A storm drop, I think, behind this natural expansion. He's coming back here. Wookiee hasn't caught on to it yet. Isn't running anywhere with those probes. He loses all of his probes. Oh, just about every probe of that natural expansion just exploded. So yeah, he's, yeah, Wookiee's definitely got to get something done with that ground army soon. Bisu keeping the High Templar on that little ledge, just letting it regenerate its energy for one more good storm, I think. But yeah, Wookiee's got to get something done with the ground army soon. Um, other than that, I could definitely try the same kind of harassment against Bisu, but I doubt it's going to be that successful. That was an extremely successful harassment. So, so yeah, Wookiee's going to have to do something special now to fight back Bisu because he's going to... Yeah, his economy is just going to be grinded down uh, soon enough by Bisu. It's already been grinded down quite a bit. But okay, there's a shuttle being forced back by Bisu. Probably a couple High Templar in that shuttle ready to go. And look at this. The Observer is just looking at that High Templar thinking, you, got, you done yet? You got your storm research yet? 
Oh man, it's gonna be ridiculous if Bisu gets one additional storm off with that freaking High Templar. Oh man. So hopefully Wookie spots that soon. Uh, Wookie is coming in for his own kind of harassment. I think there was another storm for Bisu. Yeah, he just got another storm off. Luckily, it seemed that Wookiee was up on that. He ran back with his probes. And, yeah, yeah, Wookiee's shuttle taken down. I think his shuttle was just ta yeah, shuttle taken down behind Bisu's main. <laughs> There's Wookiee finally getting rid of that pesky High Templar. And Bisu's army is pretty massive. I'm looking at the size of the armies now from both. Plus, Bisu no doubt has a ground upgrade advantage too. But Bisu just about to lose his shuttle here, I think. Gets the High Templar in a little bit more harassment from Bisu. Uh, storms over a few more probes. That guy looks exactly like Bisu. Oh man, that had to be Bisu's relative. <laughs> the brother Bisu. Hello, I'm brother Bisu. Okay, anyway. So, uh... Both players have their armies in the middle, and I think that Bisu's is much bigger. Just looking at the map, uh, looking at the clumps of troops from both, uh, Bisu's army just looks much, much bigger. But I think we're about to find out soon, because Wookiee's moving out straight into the middle. He's ready for a fight. Uh, probably going to come in with some High Templar soon. Yeah, he has a couple High Templar uh, taking up the back. Bisu has High Templar as well. So yeah, it's going to be pretty big engagement. Taking out the Observer. And I think Wookiee's going for this. Yeah, he knows he has to get a ton of damage done. So he's moving up right now. Storms from both players. Bisu gets a storm on uh, quite a few Dragoons there at the front. Uh, oh, look at all those Zealots that are left. Tons of Zealots left. Nice storm from Wookie though, on all the remaining Zealots. Yeah, it's definitely going to hurt the, the Zealot count, but Wookie, can he compete with uh, Beast's massive amount of troops? Look at all these troops from Beast who are just flooding in. High Templar in the back, ready to storm some more over these troops. Some additional storms from Bisu at the front. Look at the storm war, but uh, this battle is going to be won by Dragoons and Dragoons alone. Just look at the amount of Dragoons left for Bisu. He's definitely going to take this engagement. Yeah, steamrolling Wookiee back to his base <laughs> as uh, Bisu has already established his third base. Hadn't even noticed that, but he already has his third base established and mining right now. And Wookiee does not have his third base. I think he's trying to position it at the 6 o'clock but he's not going to be able to get anything done with Bisu hanging outside of it like this. Look at the amount of troops that Bisu has. Yeah, he's just he can just A-move at this point and completely crush Wookiee. And I think that's what he's trying to do. Storming up the hill on top of the Zealots. And once the Zealots go, Wookiee's not going to really have anything in the means of defense against all these freaking Dragoons. More Dragoons. The cannons at the front will help quite a bit. Uh, but w without the ground army, yeah, GG from Wookie. Nice high intensity PvP to start out this series. Okay, guys, let's move on to set number two. Beat Tooth Brother.